Hey guys, happy Saturday. Coming to you live from Fit for Life. Representing. We just finished teaching three classes. And we just wanted to quickly go over the Murph Wad that's happening on Memorial Day and just a little bit about what to expect and our own tips and how we do it individually between Jason and I. So hang on one second, I'm gonna turn this around. All right guys, so Murph Wad, there it is right there. We have it on Monday, what's up coach? What's up? Are you going to start? You going to start with the one mile run? Well, let's explain first. Murph Wad is on Monday. You guys, if you're registered through Fit for Life, you're going to show up anytime between 7.30 and 9.30. So the latest time to show up is 9.30. We have two classes at 8 and 9 a.m. You guys can take the 8 o'clock class and then do the Murph after. There's a couple people that do that and they like to do that. But you must show up by 9.30. Okay, now we're in. So um, tech, you're supposed to wear a 20 pound vest if you can. Um, optional for everybody. <clears throat> you can break this up however you want it. Basically what you're going to be doing with a 20 pound weighted vest, one mile run, 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats, and one mile run again. You can, uh, doing it strict is just that, in that order. You will do a one mile, then you're gonna come in and do 100 pull-ups straight, then you're gonna do 200 push-ups straight, 300 squats straight, and then a one mile run. Myself, I break it up. I use the 5, 10, 15 method. I'm gonna do the one mile run, I'm gonna do five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 squats for 20 rounds. And the way I'm gonna remember that, because it's a whole lot to remember, I'm gonna have 20 rubber bands on my wrist. Every time I do my 15 squat, rip a rubber band off, throw it on the floor. When the last rubber band hits the floor, I'm gonna haul ass outside of the gym and run a mile again. My goal is to do this in 46 minutes. Last year I did it in 47 or 49, I don't remember, I'll have to look, but I wanna beat it, obviously. So the goal is to push yourself the best you can, you could split this wad up. We do have some injured people. You could share the wad. I think Peely and her husband are gonna do it together and he's gonna do what she can't for um, because of her the current injury. Um, but the goal is to push yourself, to really get out of your comfort zone. I'm gonna explain on Memorial Day to everyone in person why we are actually doing this wad and the importance of this workout. Um, you can feel free to do your research about uh, Michael Murphy, follow Navy SEAL if you'd like to before you come in so you have a little better understanding. But I will talk on Memorial Day regarding it. Okay. So there's your wad. Get so registered. I wanna show, yeah, I want to show you guys. Look, we also have this on the board here. So screenshot it, take a picture, memorize it. Fitforlife.com forward slash events forward slash 2017 Murph Wad M U R P H Wad. If you go there, guys, you can find out all the info on. Hold on. Okay, you can find out all the info on exactly why we do the Murph, um, the different ways of breaking down, because I do it differently than what Coach Jason does. Um, ways that you can also, you can also keep notes on your phone. You could bring a little piece of paper and you can mark it on your own. We are gonna have a dry erase board up, set up so that you guys can um, actually record it yourself too. Um, this is a individual challenge for the most part, but you can partner up if you have um, you know, injuries and things like that that you need to partner up with somebody or if you wanna just you know, do it with somebody or split it up however you wanna do it. We will have um, backgrounds. All right, so the Murph Wad's gonna happen over here. So when you come in, you're gonna check in like you normally would. Make sure you check in for Murph Wad and you're gonna do, this is gonna be your workout area, all in this area back here. So we got our rig here. What is this, 30 feet? Yes. Our 30 feet, 30 foot rig, and we've got you know a couple different bars back here that you'll be able to do your pull-ups. So that way everybody has an opportunity. There's one, two, three. There's four pull-up bars the here. The tire set up in the middle so we can hit the higher bars too. So the the big tires will be in. So we'll be yeah. able to have many people um, in their areas doing their pull-ups at a time. And we do have some pull-up assist as well. I use the assist. Unfortunately, you know I can't do 100 pull-ups yet. One day, hopefully, right? There will be pull-up assist rubber bands that we got brand new ones. There'll also be weights back here so you guys can challenge yourself and add 20 pounds on to do your squats. We will also have bands set up at some areas too for those that legitimately even with the assist can't do it, we will do a simulated pull-up so you could still get that workout in that same pull-up motion. Exactly, so there's modifications for everything so there's no reason why you cannot do it. But 
we can only take so many people. So make sure you guys register in advance as soon as possible. We're gonna start a group to let's find out exactly what time you are planning on doing your Murph Wad so that we can plan it out. We're gonna have some Memorial Day treats, some protein oatmeal that everybody's loving. So make sure you guys come and check us out and we're gonna have lots of fun. It's a great workout. <laughs> great workout, lots of fun with your favorite Fit Fam. All right guys, have a great weekend and we'll see you later. Peace.